camera's good. Good. All right. Uh, do you want to kick off? Yeah, sure. Um, Carl, I guess, regardless of the result, that, that performance is just going to be labelled unacceptable, doesn't it? Yeah, frustrating, to say the least. I said to the guys in there today, that's didn't see it coming in relation to where we were at. Yeah, we've had a two-week break uh, for circumstances which we know, but uh, we were flat, we were lethargic. Obviously, we didn't lay a glove on anyone. We were second best all along, and first goal when we conceded it, we made it even harder for us. So, yeah, not good enough for us as a, as a group. Um, we could only get better. I guess the, the, the pressure was already there before you yeah. came into this game. Um, it's only going to build I mean, can you turn this around? Do you still believe yeah, that? Yeah, that I said to you, there's pressure on every every manager that's not in the top six of this league. Uh, I'm no different because I'm a foreigner. You know, you have to accept it, you embrace it. You sometimes have to enjoy it as hard as it is. It's not nice when people are not saying very nice things about you, but you have to stick to your beliefs and what, you, what you've grown up doing uh, and what you know um, and just work hard. And if you work hard, then generally, usually, what happens, it, it does turn at some stage. So we, uh, we were miles off it tonight. We're not far away in relation to the bigger picture, but we were way off it tonight, and it's not acceptable. Do you feel like you've got the time to turn it around? Well, that's, that's not in my hands, is it? You know. Um, what about, uh, I guess, what, what, does, do you, what do you feel needs to change? Is it just the players' effort levels or something? No. The, the tactics I, listen, I won't, I won't fault the players' efforts levels. That's one thing I think is a, is a cop-out, really, from a manager. And I, I don't do that. My players work hard every day, probably. I just said to me, they train brilliantly. And then we play, and we don't play to the levels that we, we train. And sometimes maybe I wish that we were, we were really bad trainers and played well in games. Um, but it's trying to find the balance of that. So, no, I'll just ask them to rebound and respond. You know, this game, it, this league is very, very tight, uh, whether it's at the top or the bottom. And we lost an opportunity today against a, a team that were in a similar predicament to ourselves. Um, and we gave them the little lift that they needed at home. What we've got to do is respond on Wednesday. Yeah, I guess I was going to say it's a quick turnaround for you. Is, that, is. is that a good thing? Or a yeah, bad I think thing? Well, it's always a good thing. You always want to play games. We've we played, I think, one game in the last five weeks. So, you know, everyone says, oh, it's great, and you train great, and then you lose players through. Um, injuries and through through COVID scenarios and things like that. So try and get into a rhythm. We looked like we hadn't played. That's no excuse because we weren't good enough. We looked like any changes for the game on Wednesday. Are you going to give the same players who played out there tonight the opportunity to rebound and respond? No, there will be changes. I wanted to ideally try and keep the same team that I could, if I could have, uh, that played the two weeks prior, but I wasn't able to do that. So uh, there will be. Some of the boys, I thought, looked very, very tired for... for obvious reasons as you can put two and two together and come up with um, so I had to protect them as well they look very very tired um, so there probably will be changes yet yeah, and there needs to be because we need to go and get a result on Wednesday um, any puzzles that you can take out of this game anything at all that can go on uh, oh, now you're making me think aren't you <laughs> uh, no not really uh, what I'll say is the players didn't give in All right, they didn't go under uh, and when you lose a game of football, it's not nice. Uh, and sometimes when you lose two or three nil, I, I said to the boys, if you had lost one nil, then I think sometimes you can kid over a performance about you weren't that far away. We, we lost three nil today and we deserve to lose. You know, why that is, I've got to find out the solution to that. But that's not acceptable for us. That's not acceptable for my players. That's not acceptable for me. I'll analyse it. They'll analyse it. But we'll get back to work and we'll go even harder on Wednesday because one result changes everything. As Brisbane have found out today, I'm sure a couple of days ago, you know, when they lost the game, they were didn't feel great, and now they feel great uh, and they're celebrating out there. So, you know, it's football. Any questions on Zoom? Well, are those, those two things don't match up. No, well, they do, Vince. If you talk two weeks ago when we went to the the champions and we probably, you know, we were we were fit and healthy and we played as well as we have done this year and we should have won the game. All right. So I know we're not far away when we play to that levels. Maybe I didn't re phrase it right. So um, we didn't play at that le those levels today. Um, like we did two weeks prior. And I know that we can play at them levels because we did two weeks ago. We didn't today. And we haven't, by the way, enough this year. And that's fair. 
So the reason why I know there's hope is because we've done that last week, two weeks ago, and we should have won, but for a, a missed opportunity from maybe a, a VAR call. But we didn't, and that's what gives me hope. So whether I missed that out or whatever, but that's what I meant. Okay, absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, you seem to have hinted a couple of times around like, fitness and healthiness yep. in terms of players. Like, are you suggesting that there's a bit of well, listen, we, we, we lost the game because we deserved to lose. We didn't deserve to get anything out of it. But I, I can't tell you, and without me naming names, because that's not right. I know some people do, but I don't think that's my right to give you who, who has had it, unless they want to. You just don't know what a toll it takes. I had some that weren't able to train for a period of time. I had some that it didn't seem to affect. Um, but it did seem to affect some of them today, obviously, with the heat and humidity here. So um, was that the reason we lost? No, that's not the reason I'm not using that as an excuse. But I just don't know in three or four of the boys' bodies because, you know, they have been off for a little bit of time. So, you know, I can't question their effort and uh, desire, as I was asked in here, because I just don't know how they're feeling inside because COVID, as we know, takes, takes its toll on everyone differently. So for me to say and make a random statement, I don't think would be, one, fear. Two, uh, I don't know what goes on in people's bodies, but clearly we're not at a level of fitness in relation to the circumstance that we need to be. Uh, but that's no excuse. Any questions? Yeah, Tom, um, you know, obviously, you've got some great players with great CVs. You look at Manny, that's Rothwell, uh, Rothwell, sorry, I should say, Charlotte's, Hamed. How much confidence can give you that you've got the players with great CVs who've been there and done it before and then attempt to turn it around? Well, that's a good thing now in, in that locker room. I've just, you know, I've spoke to them and you've got players, the senior players. We, you know, we've got a lot of talented young players, as I keep saying, as most A-League teams have, and that's good. You know, you want to see the young ones progress, but the young ones go with the flow, really. They, they don't know what is ahead of them in their futures. The older ones do. They've been in good teams. They've been in difficult teams. They've been in bad teams. They've been in teams. They've been out of teams. So you have to lean on their experience. You know, yes, we've lost Reese Williams um, last week to a, a really tough injury, who, who was the captain of our team, and we've had to uh, now lead by collective. So I've asked those boys to step up a little bit. Uh, tonight wasn't our night, uh, but it's important that you have people who've got the experience of them players you named because they've been there, they've done it. They've, you know, they understand that it is a game. They understand what they need to do to try and get themselves out a little bit of a hole, and um, we're in a little bit of a hole at the moment. Um, and there's no shine away from it can't hide and blame you know that's not the culture that we try and create or gets you anywhere so the senior players are very important obviously we look at Tom Hammond one of the names that was mentioned you know yeah. you tried to create something in the box tonight in the six yard area and was unable to do so how frustrating was it that you were unable to aid him and get the ball to his feet so he could create any chances yeah, no, very frustrating for, for Tomer as well as us, you know, and, you know, the balance of the team today, uh, we try to play away with the, the two wider players, Dimi rolling in and Rami staying out to try and get crosses in the box for Tomer, but it can't just be Tomer that's in the box, it needs to be the midfield players, it needs to be Jack, it needs to be Keanu and Stevie, that's where they got the goals from, I think, last week, two weeks ago, so he was isolated at times, uh, we had a lot of ball in the, in the two-thirds of the field, which we always do, um, but we went back to being passive in the final third which is not going to score your goals so he'll be frustrated I'm frustrated for him but you put a very very hard shift in as well so a, a lot of the things you've said um, in this press that you've said before what yeah. heard, yep. a lot of what you said before why should they have any faith that things are going to be different this time around just because if you don't believe, then <laughs> you give in. Uh, and the one thing I won't do, Vince, is give in. I think you know me, I'm a pretty straight shooter, I'll tell you as it is, you know. And today we weren't at the races, um, but, you know, I'm not gonna give in. You don't give in. Foot players don't give in. You know, if players, I've, I've said to them, if they don't feel like they can contribute and win games of football, then come and see me, it's no problem. You know, I've got players that are, are not in the squad. I've got players that are at the moment are injured that are desperate to get young players that are desperately trying to get game minutes. I'll play there, no problem whatsoever as well. So what gives me hope is that I believe in them. Uh, what gives the Wanderers fans hope is, you know, there's two ways you go when you're going through a difficult period at a football club. You either blame, and that's fine, or you just roll your sleeves up. And I say that internally as well as externally. I can't change their mind just on a press conference by talking or trying to spin them a line. I'm not going to do that.
what I'll do is I'll let action speak louder than words. So I'm going to have to get back to the drawing board, focus on training tomorrow and Monday, and try and win, a, win games on Wednesday and Saturday. That's all I can do. And then suddenly maybe you can change the narrative.